Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. This month is Chinese New Year and Chinese New Year both. Happy New Year. We wish to all the year a very happy and a very, very successful life. The wishes come, whatever the wishes come true, you cook it. You guys have a lot of wishes? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I think today weather is good. I think normally we are not big snow anymore. Hope so, yes. But sometimes snow is good enough. They could really, the environment is very good for us people. We have got to. Was a challenge, <coughs> but the environment is very good, and uh, not much complaint. Also, the who has a lot of salt and a lot of trouble, they got job. Others no snow, they lose all that. Yes. And we need to drink that all the snow, then a lot, <laughs> right? Anyway. When that time we say, I wish I don't have a car. Yeah. <laughs> and we, when you go, the car is very useful. Anyway, very good opportunity to come together, study about Dharma. Dharma means, you know, protection, protect. Protect from where, when, how, right? You know, Dharma protects for us to all the sufferings. But, you know, we need to study Dharma and contemplate and to uh, put our practice. Otherwise, we say, oh, Dharma, 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 we say, refuge, refuge. Usually, Dharma is here, our mind is here. Between there may be a very big gap. <laughs> it doesn't work. One day you say, Dharma doesn't work. Some people say, you know, oh, Puja doesn't work. <laughs> people like that, you know. Usually, people, they say, Puja. Usually, Puja is uh, purification to all the. Purification all the negative karmas, then uh, purify, yeah. then big merit. Then who has big merit, then all the obstacles cannot harm us. But also it depends on motivation. Then the motivation is not very good, then that is a walk. You know, usually Buddha, Dharma, Sangha has power to protect for us. But we didn't do exactly what Buddha said, how they keep instructions, we doesn't follow them, and it doesn't, you know, protection, protect us. For example, I went to last week something. You know, this house has power to protect for us to cold, water, snow. But we are outside, we say, oh, house has power to protect our cold things. It doesn't come in. We just the outside. Then, then, of course, house has power. Then it doesn't come in because it doesn't go there. Then we have lots of snow. We have lots of wars. Look at the Dharma, you know. Buddha said, "I show you how you chip enlightenment Buddhahood, not with your hand." Then we have to practice subdued our our dears, our minds, which ones, our dears, always, always with us. What kind of mind? Touchment, angry, he said, always there. Touchment was always us. He loves us. We need to get up. It's hard, right? Then angry, jealous, then some, you know, 
substation. 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 Yes. He is our best friend, and we have to give up. Otherwise, he give for trouble. Anyway, I think not trouble of the guy. Better than it. I don't think that's bored. What are you talking about? You need to understand it's not much makes sense. <laughs> that doesn't go all the time. Yeah, yeah, Saturday is that. That's not what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. So the purpose of practicing Dharma is to transform our mind. And if they want to do it, they want to do it. As we are all saying, in wanting happiness and not wanting any suffering, and these sufferings uh, and happiness is, you know, come from cause and conditions. And we ourselves are the one you know, who is the uh, creator of these causes and conditions. And and so we should try not to create any more causes for suffering and whatever we have created, we should try to purify them. So practice is uh, <coughs> um, integrating you know, one's mind you know, with the uh, teachings of the Buddha. And that is the same thing. And so how do we integrate our mind with the teachings of Buddha? It's like Buddha has advised us to you know, abandon the ten and virtuous actions. And so we should you know, check ourselves you know, whether we are able to abandon any of them or not. And so also Buddha has advised us to uh, have compassion towards sentient beings and have uh, you know, faith and devotion towards uh, Buddhas. So we should see whether we are able to have those thoughts or not. And so why should we have uh, faith and you know, devotion? Uh, towards the Buddhas and you know, the Gurus and Bodhisattvas, you know, it's because if we have faith in them, then we will you know, uh, listen to them. Uh, <clears throat> then we practice whatever teachings that they have taught. So, for example, like if someone that we don't believe or we don't have faith in and tells us to do something, we will not listen to that person, right? Are you guys, are you guys following some, someone we don't trust? Person say, okay, don't. Maybe someone say, it's a how, how we go to the you know, center, you ask someone, but you, you're not trusting a country person. He said, oh, go this way, then but you could check again. He said, oh, I see that, but I don't trust this person really. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, maybe that person doesn't know exactly how you go there, but maybe sometimes they know some wrong questions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, in India we go, so I ask the people, say, okay, go this way. Then we take you some wrong information. We can all go back there. It's not always, you know, there's no good side of it. You know, side map. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, just take care to go to your good When we, I was together, you know, when we were a kid, we said, Lhasa. We don't know where Lhasa is. How you go Lhasa? Go to the Nimal Nadu Sushum So, towards the sunset. <laughs> you don't have any direction. Then we just follow it. Look at that. Any today by the Kanje. Today that Sanjay to Shanjay to make Tepa yoga. Na ani ani Kepa yoga. Ani Ichi yoga. Today na ani Kamsu ba Dhruva na Tiu Pento ba Sura yoga. So if we have uh, faith and devotion towards uh, the Buddhas and the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, then uh, we will have. Uh, um, uh, listen to their advices. So if we listen to their advice and practice those uh, advices, then uh, it's for our own benefits. And then other reason, why do we, why should we have compassion towards sentient beings? You know, uh, you know, we are separate beings, so why should we have compassion towards them? And take over this, that me 
So we should have compassion towards them because the uh, sentient beings are very kind to us uh, in many different ways, directly, indirectly, and so forth. Uh, for example, you know, the, the rice and the flour that you know, are ready you know, for us to consume uh, is, you know, is produced by somebody, right? Uh, it's not produced by ourselves, it's produced by somebody else. From those beings, you know, we, don't know, we don't know who those beings are, how much difficulties they have gone through to produce those you know, <coughs> crops and so forth. So um, when they think about you know, those uh, hard works that others have put in you know, to uh, provide those foods. Okay, if you guys have explained to, you know, what I feel. Field. Field, field. then field work is very hard work. Mm. But who are the city boys, girls, doesn't know. <laughs> any, any idea, right? <laughs> you know, when, you know, even if you say corn, you can eat corn, right? Corn? Corn? Corn. 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 It's delicious, right? Yeah. You put cook or you put oil of fire. Then put a little butter and stuff. It's very delicious. <laughs> but it's very hard work. This is the all also I have explained a lot. When I was monk in Sarah, we have to put first to the Indians, they bring cows, two cows, they put whole, then we have to put one by one. All the monks bring small bags. They put one by one. Then behind one monk come in there. Put the car. Then we have to also keep all night to protect us. To keep the to God. To God. Otherwise they are oh, wild wild the elephants and pigs, special pigs come to eat. <laughs> you know, they like to eat, you know, they know what. Then we have to put the and then also you have to <coughs> uh, put the manures and the fertilizers and so forth. So these are all done uh, by the monks there. Then we have to also do, put, cut the grass. If there are not grasses, then they doesn't go. We have to cut grass. Then we have to cut one by one hand, no machines. You know, here the machines, they cut, then we go separate. Then we have to cut one by one. Then we have to cut, then we have to check down every one by one, then cut a proper shape. Then peel all the monks, you know, peel, put together. Then we put the, the monks, they put the mission, you know, there are some doctors, they put the mission, they can be separate. India, they cut the, what is it? So you have to peel it, you know, each of uh, all the cones, you know, Anyway, this is my explanation to how you grow the cones. And that Lord walks everything that they really did, we just go to buy. They were very kind for it. Look at that kind. Another way we say, <coughs> we are Buddhist and believe to pass Puja Lab. When you have a human being, we have to mother. Then we say, mother is not. So it is not all, not same mother in every life. Therefore, we have mother's feeling. Usually, some of us like to mother. <laughs> the most, you know, the mother's very kind for us. We don't think maybe too much. But even I don't know how many mothers we hear. They have experience. How they love their kids. <laughs> they think it's my kids best, beautiful, <laughs> handsome. Nice one. You got three? Let's get them here. Until they're about three or four. Then teenager. Then the child. You get a little break. Seven and twelve. Anyway, right? Then you know, the mother's very kind for us. They want to do the best, whatever they do, best they do for us. They want to say, first century can be much numerous. And so, you know, we say that <coughs> all the sentient beings have been our mother at one time. 
Jail knew what's wrong. I think I know the Marie Lago Matas. So, saying that they have been our mother, not saying that they are our mother. Any car to the car to them, my chain or my car was. So that's different, right? You know, having been your mother and you know, uh, being your mother is different, right? To look at a teenager, chain you are a teenager, my mother. So you've been a teenager, like you've all been teenagers, but you're not a teenager now, right? <laughs> <laughs> So since they all been our mother, you know, so just like the mother, uh, just like the mother of this life, how you know, kind she has been to us, that much you know, kind all mothers been when they have been our mothers. Also fathers. Otherwise, maybe Buddhists and brothers like fathers and fathers. <laughs> Usually, we don't have much to fathers' example. It's always mother, 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 sister. But father also include that. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you know this? Okay. Anyway, then you buy that, then you can go. I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to go with this. So, since all sentient beings have been very kind to us, therefore, we should uh, have compassion towards them. And so therefore all the sentiment has to be free from suffering. So right now we don't have the power to you know, free them from all the sufferings, but you know, if we become enlightened ourselves, uh, then we can you know, uh, help them to be free from their sufferings. And so therefore we should think that uh, may achieve state of enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. And so that thought, you know, <coughs> uh, wishing to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings, you know, is called bodhicitta. So just by thinking like that as much as possible, then you, you know, <coughs> develop your mind more and more towards bodhicitta. And so that's what you do when you meditate, you know, think about it, to, um, or have that thought, have, to have that uh, uh, thought again and again. <coughs> Since uh, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha has the power to take us from sufferings, uh, therefore you know, we, we trust ourselves into um, the three jewels, the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, and uh, ask for them you know, to protect us. And so doing that you know, is called taking refuge. So that uh, uh, two lines of that verse, you know, I'm taking refuge in Bodhicitta, as I said, the Buddha and Sangha, I take a refuge until I'm enlightened. It shows the refuge, taking refuge. <coughs> so how will Buddha you know, help sentient beings you know, to be free from their suffering? You know, so like if you yourself become Buddha, how will you be able to help them? <coughs> and so Buddha will explain you know, the teachings, you know, what is to be abandoned and what is to be cultivated, uh, just, as, uh, just as it fits you know, to the individual's mind, uh, and then the individuals you know, by practicing them, they can be free from those sufferings. And so that's how Buddha helps, and otherwise uh, it's not possible for Buddha to like wash away all our negativities and <coughs> uh, or take away all um, um, our negativities you know, by his hand. And 
also he can't uh, transfer you know, his uh, realizations, you know, like the realizations of the uh, bodhicitta and, and the <coughs> emptiness to our mind. And so no matter how dear the person, the other person is, you know, we can't you know, give our mind you know, to them, right? But we can give the peace for our body, right? Mm. And we can give peace, peace, of, peace of body. Peace of body. Mm-hmm. You know, people can give the I don't know, only kill me and another thing. And so the sufferings that, that, that we don't wish has two kinds, uh, that of mind and that of body. And so mainly is the, the suffering of the mind. So the suffering the mind. Uh, so how Buddha helps <coughs> our liberates and ascended beings is by teaching uh, the truth of uh, what is to be abandoned, what is to be guarded, and so on. So by doing that, and then that's how Buddha helps. And so all these teachings, you know, the Buddha has taught, like uh, <coughs> the translated teachings of the Buddha, which has uh, over 100 volumes, uh, these are all taught you know, to uh, help sentient beings to be free from their sufferings. And then there is a translated commentary, uh, which is the translation you know, of the, uh, or the, sorry, the commentary uh, <coughs> of the Buddha's teaching. And there are over uh, 200 uh, uh, volumes of scriptures. <laughs> and so all these teachings, you know, all these, uh, the translated teachings and the translated commentaries um, <clears throat> are all condensed into, into uh, the short form of the teaching by Lama Atisha when he came to Tibet, known as uh, the Lamp on the Path to Enlightenment, so which includes all the essence you know, of these teachings. So it is called the stages of the path. It is the, the stages of the path to achieve enlightenment. And so if you really study this lumbering world, then uh, you can you can you know, have everything. Usually we just have all the sentient beings, right? But real money thought about that was the same chicken we get out of the tone was. Namjuma the letter, same chicken to knock it was. Namjuma not a legacy, so the same chicken said. So usually we say for the benefit of all sentient beings, and we think for the benefit, but we don't really do things for the benefit of all the sentient beings. We mostly do uh, for our own benefit. We just, I just say, you know, mm-hmm. we just, I just say that. What what did you do? That day, Namiya was checking on him, but he is done. Did you that day? No, the Lord, that guru man was saying, but. And so we have to study that in the world. Uh, so we have already gone through a lot of this uh, teaching already, right? Uh-huh. A lot part of this uh, teaching on the Lord. Lord, come the Lord, Lord, yeah, that's Lord. Share come chase, you know, share come chase that day. And then there is called a glance meditation <coughs> on Lamrim. <coughs> so when you do the glance meditation on Lamrim, uh, you, you know, think about, uh, uh, you narrate you know, all the outlines of the Lamrim and think you know, about it on uh, each point of those uh, outlines. And so today we are going to start, or we've been already started, right? section where it talks about uh, the path and the shape you know, with the small scopes <coughs> So do you know this, uh, the origin, you know, how this outline came about, the outline of the, uh, the, the path shape with the small scopes? We said, we thought it was not, right? 
we all send to Yati, Yati. looking for the mouse. If the Yati is very really big, you catch one mouse, put here, then you talk to again the next one. If you move that this mouse will go away. He last recorded only one. You know, we say, you know, we study, study the we want to all that thing you buy is a kanji. That tambo de la ya. I need to buy the number one. Such a shame, right? So anyway, the first the 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 four main outlines. I need tambo la chu ku to ma chun tambo chu wa se chun right? The first one is uh, the greatness of the author. You know, to um, show the teachings. Uh, you know, is uh, is uh, authentic uh, origins. I need tambo la tambo. Ma tambo la chu chu tambo chu wa na tambo chu tambo ba de se chun tambo chu wa se. Uh, so, like for example, when you read a book, you know, you, you will check the author, you know, the person who wrote that book, right? Um, <coughs> so, um, you know, it is very important, you know, uh, who wrote that book, right? You know, so, therefore, it is important to understand uh, um, <coughs> who, who the, uh, the, the author is. Uh, in order to see whether the teachings, you know, <coughs> or the, the things that were wrote, written by him, uh, have um, uh, an immaculate source or not. <coughs> and then the second uh, main outline in, is the, the greatness of the Dharma, mm. in order to generate faith uh, uh, devotion you know, towards the teaching. And so the, <coughs> so the third one is the how to uh, um, uh, uh, teach and, and uh, listen and, uh, to the teaching that has these two premises. Uh, so we have already gone through all this. <coughs> and so if you go through these outlines, um, you know, you know, one by one, and then just contemplate on, you know, briefly on them, and then you go through, you cover many of them uh, <coughs> without much difficulties and accumulate great amount of merit. And then Sajay Shivala, and then Dambagi, Dambagi, and Loma Chattachi, and Bas, and Sajay Shivala, and then Sajay Shivala, and then Sajay Shivala. And so the, uh, the fourth main outline you know, is the sequence you know, in uh, which the disciples are to be taught and uh, taught the actual instructions. And so we have reached that now. And uh, then <coughs> that one itself uh, has divided into two. Uh, mainly is the root of the path, the devotion to a spiritual guide, and um, <coughs> uh, how to train the mind after uh, you know, devoting you know, to the spiritual guide. So we have gone through all the all about the good devotion already, right? That then the Lord Chaitanya Swami said, "Tell us, any David, tell us, you believe in God? Oh, that's right. That's right. So now I forgot. And the Lilves, Lilves, what's up? Identifying the, uh, the prophet in the river, um, 
to Jesus and the Eucharist. And then thinking about the great value of the Prophet and Rebirth, and uh, thinking about the difficulties to achieve uh, Prophet and Rebirth. And then Tanjo Musa, the Tawaji and George, the Mini, said that Musa was the Tetan of the Tote Res. So identifying the Prophet and Rebirth, you know, what is, what is Prophet and Rebirth, you know, what is called Prophet and Rebirth, or after Prophet and Rebirth. And so that <coughs> you have to identify by thinking about uh, the eight leisures and the ten endowments, which we have now, right? So the great uh, significance or the value of this profit and reward is that uh, you can achieve great you know, things you know, through this profit and reward and, you know, like, <coughs> and, uh, and everything in this life and you know, future lives and even up to enlightenment can be achieved you know, through this profit and reward. Uh, and then, uh, you know, thinking about the, the difficulties to achieve profit and reward, there are many different ways that is explained, right? No, difficulties you know, to achieve in terms of the numbers, in terms of the examples, you know, and in terms, in terms of the entities. You guys remember anyone there? <laughs> If you have time, you can go again and read again, you know. Then you that, then you can get to the other one, you can get to the other one, you can get to the So we have all that, you know, we have all those, uh, 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 profit and reward, the ultimate and reward. That's what you can get to the other one, that's it. And that's what you can get to the other one, that's what you can get to the other one, that's what you can get to the other one, that's what you can get to the other one, that's what you can get to the other one, that's Awesome, you're uh, So then uh, the second one, which is how to extract the essence from the power of the and rebirth, uh, has three, again, three main categories. Training your mind in the stages of the path shared with the small scope, and developing, and the training of the mind in the path, uh, in the stages of the path shared with the middle scope, and training uh, your mind in the stages of the path, now the great scope. Okay. しよう、でね、もう少し。こう。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手を調べ。ま、手
118. Mm -hmm. How to extract the essence from your heart? Mm -hmm. Jesus,
So you see that uh, the three main sections of that uh, part, right, of that outline, how to extract essence of all the spoken of the real world, turning your mind in the stage of the path shared with the small scope, turning your mind in the stage of the path shared with the medium scope, turning your mind in the red scopes in the stage of the path. <coughs> so you know the, the shared, what, is, what it means shared here, right? How do you guys share with a lot of things? Um, uh, shared Share in respect, you know, something not done by yourself alone, uh, you know, it's, it's something that is other people do also, so it's, it's a common, not only to yourself, but other people also. So what is uh, the, the common thing that is done by both uh, others, oneself and other, uh, is the, uh, the practice of this Moscow. And so there are practitioners of the small scope, a practitioner of the medium scope, and practitioners of the great scope, right? <coughs> so the, uh, the part shared you know, with the small scope, you know, it's like the part that is shared by small scope and others. You know, it's common to small scope and others. It's, it's not only practiced by small scopes, also practiced by other beings. So the beings you know, of this medium scope, practitioner of the medium scope and great scope also has to practice uh, the small scope's part. So you, you know the difference between the small, medium, and the best scope, right? Uh, so <coughs> thinking about oneself alone, uh, wishing oneself you know, to be free from the sufferings of the lower realm, and with that thought, you know, engaging in the practice of Dharma is called the small scope. And so that is uh, the, the purpose of doing practice you know, for that person, for that practitioner, is just to be free from the sufferings of the lower realms. And so then the next person thinks, even if I'm free from the sufferings of the lower realms, I still have to you know, be born in the upper realms and where they have so a lot of sufferings, you know, some psychic sufferings. So I have to free myself you know, from the entire suffering of psychic existence with that thought. Then we engage in the practice, and that's called the medium score. <laughs> <coughs> so 
and then the <coughs> then it thinks oh it's not sufficient just for myself to be free from the suffering of the cycle existence. There are numberless beings you know, who have been very kind to me, <coughs> and I can't just leave them alone, leave them behind in you know, suffering in cycle existence. I have to you know, free them all from the uh, <coughs> suffering of cycle existence. And so in order to do so, I must achieve enlightenment for that reason. I'm going to engage in this practice. So with that thought, so you engage in the practice you know, to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings, that becomes a, a practitioner of the dress code. ケテラタチュノカワサヤカワカオレです。そうウェアユウォッチアバウユウィティンクウェアデベストワンレディセイフォーエブリバディ <laughs> 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 Uh, in speech, not in very in action, right? Yeah. Um, so, but anyway, uh, it is not other people to judge. You know, so we know ourselves. You know, <laughs> ourselves not to, we, we are not hidden to ourselves, right? And so we know ourselves, and so we can tell ourselves exactly where we. Okay. This just we can check it out. One day's activities we can take half the going. We do it to just all our benefit. Say, for me, then we say my family. My father, my father, my husband, my wife, my kid. You always bring the mind. I have it. Mm-hmm. Usually it's all all sentient pieces. Free from the suffering. We just say that. Everybody, not just I'm not pawn you guys, okay? Everybody, including me, we all together. We say we say I'm the Maya and the Pradeshan. We say right? Everybody said, everybody think also I'm I'm Maya and the Pradesh. You know, we say, well, I'm I'm Maya. You know, you know. But we, exactly we do actions, maybe we the worst of material children, but not so much. <coughs> so we'll, maybe sometimes we don't even fit into the small scopes. But Chamor Ocean is honest. So do we think about uh, the sufferings of the lower realms, honestly? We don't think that, we say. My life here. <laughs> we just We want to think about this life. <laughs> so uh, and, uh, as as a practitioner, uh, we must at least think about the next life. So we don't even think about that. We want to think about you know, this. So we don't even really fit into that. You know, fit into being a small scholar practitioner. But So you know the difference now, right? Yeah. The difference of the small, medium, and the great scopes. And then we think about which one, which one ourselves. I'm thinking about maybe we are not either one. I don't think of myself in any of these scopes yet. I'm just um, so, uh, before you can <coughs> enter into the path you know, of the medium scope, you, know, you have to enter into the path of the uh, small scope. Uh, um, <coughs> um, so, so that the small scope path is practiced by both medium and small, therefore it's called common yeah. or shared. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, for example, if you, you know, if you were to think about the suffering of other beings, you know, it is not possible without thinking about your own suffering, right? Mm-hmm. So, in order to have that thought, you know, 
so in order to have the thought for other beings, you have to have that thought for yourself, right? Uh, <clears throat> and so therefore, uh, in order to engage in the practice you know, of the great scope, you have to have uh, the thought of both you know, small and medium scopes. And so because it is you know, a part shared with the great scope, so therefore these two, the small and medium scope's part, are called a shared part. And so the great scops part is not called shared you know, because you know, it's only practiced by the great scops practitioner. Right? It is not shared, you know, it is not practiced by the uh, small scops and medium scops. You know, so it is only practiced by uh, <coughs> the great scope, therefore it's not called shared. And so that is still what you know, the difference is between shared and not shared. And so the first one, uh, the stages of the path shared with the small scope has two um, subheadings, developing a yearning for good rebirth and teaching the means you know, for happiness in your next rebirth. And so mainly think about the death and impermanence, right? And how <clears throat> um, and how this life is not going to last forever. And uh, what happens uh, in the next life, uh, if we after we die, what happens you know, in the next life? Um, and how to achieve happiness, how to be happy in that life. Uh, developing a yarning for good rebirth. Uh, this has two subheadings, subdivisions. It says, <coughs> uh, remembering that your present rebirth will not last long and that you will die, and thinking about you know, <coughs> what sorts of happiness or suffering you will have in your next rebirth in either of the, the two types of migrations. What? Uh, then the first one, uh, recalling that your present rebirth will not last long and that you will die. Has again uh, you know, three subheadings. Uh, the drawbacks of not remembering the death, the advantage you know, of remembering death, and the actual way to remember death. Short of was. So the first, uh, <coughs> the drawbacks of not uh, remembering death. So if you don't remember death, uh, so that has the six uh, divisions. And so, first of all, is if you don't remember that, then you don't remember practicing Dharma. And that is the last one. Two minutes may be in us. Then, what is that? Say no, Kova, that then, Chow, what is my yena? And it's two children, what is then, what is that? Say no, Kova, that say the second tones of Mambo, Chill and Gongoni. Two minutes, two children, what is two matter by now? So, the, the drawbacks, you know, that you will not remember Dharma. So, <clears throat> if you don't think about that, you will not think about Dharma. So, if you don't think about Dharma, then uh, most of the things that you do in this you do in this life will be all for the happiness of this life, just to find the food, clothing, shelter, and so forth for this life. Uh, so, so if you know that you will not last you know, uh, forever in this life, you will have to die. Then you will prepare what you know, what to uh, uh, prepare you know, for the next life. Right? You will prepare for us. So this is an example given here. Since just as the camp about to go on journey, we would work only at preparing the uh, preparing and packing. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so if you're going, if you if you know you're going, you know, staying here, if you know you're going, and then you will prepare for that journey, right? Right. You have to do a lot of makeups, the things, the ready, what you will talk, you will put there, everybody will prepare, then we go there, right? And so, uh, so, the, so, 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 similar to that, and if you remember that, then you, know, you will prepare for the next life. And so, uh, <coughs> but if you don't remember that, you will not prepare, and so you will not practice Dharma. Uh, 
And so, <clears throat> so what is the reason that we uh, don't remember, you know, but don't think about the death? You know, it's because we're always thinking about uh, um, the, about this life, about this life's you know, food, you know, <clears throat> uh, clothing, you know, shelter, reputation, and so forth of this life, and therefore you don't think about the death or the next life. And so if you don't think about you know, the, the death, um, the impermanence then, um, you know, uh, we just used up the whole day without you know, thinking you know, that the whole day is wasted. And so just like that, then uh, you know, one day or two days like that, you know, the whole life will be wasted. If we don't think about that and impermanence. Of course, you use of the life whether you think about it or not. But if you think about it, then you will use it in the right way by by practicing dharma, by you know, making it worthwhile. So if we are craving only for these lives, you know, food, clothing, reputation, shelter, and so forth, then that is the sign you know, that we don't think about that in impermanence. Right? So we think about you know, having uh, good things in this life, right? Uh, uh, um, you know, good, you know, enough food, enough you know, uh, clothes, you know, shelter, and and also we want to have a good reputation, fame, and so forth in this life. And so when we think about that, then that is the sign that we are not thinking about death and impermanence. Right? For example, uh, if we were to live for a long life, then let's say we live up to 80 years old, right? Maybe some people, maybe 20s, 40s, but we say this, maybe, maybe too short, maybe we say 90s. We say the 90s. And how many clothes our have on the cloth? Right. We, you know, we go to shopping, we buy one, maybe. What is that? Use once, mm -hmm. then put the cloth. Mm -hmm. Then we never use. Then we go again by one. You can check the closet. Some people have very big closet, <laughs> very tight all the clothes in there. <laughs> no, this is not. No, I just you all the same things, you know. All the uh, we cannot it, you know. Most of things. More than that, you don't think even even I have a lot of cloth. He told us to do that, but go to my class, just check. <laughs> Even I told to not give you many that, but it's coming, you know. It's all coming. Go to go to the old, you know, Kunga in my shoes. The Lord is there. <laughs> You know, this is for our habit. You know, all things we are, we are obviously we want something, you know, we, so we, also we are very touched, you know, sometimes we don't use that, we don't want to give, we, we don't want to throw, you know, we say, oh, I can use that. This is for us to, it is for habit. And so from there you can see <coughs> that we don't remember. The thing about death and impermanence. You know, before I come to Sarah, I have just only one, one, one sen, one tonga, one shanta, one ginjiro, ginjiro and mayo. When I wash my, my tonga, I will just only my, what you The singlet. singlet. This is the name of the many things. That's not because I didn't want it. That's because I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I wash my shanta, I have no shanta. I only just wet. Then we have yellow. We call mayo. When we wash mayo, <coughs> we have mayo only wet shanta. That we are very, very poor. But now we have lost. We have new one. 
directly in the wall, then the wall, they put that center below us. And this is our normal Konde Waza, Kadena Mazuru Tango So, because we are so <coughs> used to the attachment, you know, we are not able to give up, pick them up easily. You know, they show us we are not thinking about the territory. Even you can make it on the phone. Usually, if you have phone, you know, we just talk, listen. We use that technology to very, very smart things. You know, you use this, you know, technology, but, you know, 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 contentment. Without contentment, we never, ever happy. This contentment is very important. You know, usually we are, we are now here, you know, even those countries, this country people, very lucky, very, you know, fortunate. They have food, other, our things, very, from the ocean, you know, clean and everything. But of course, we have hard work then, but still we think, oh, I'm a fortunate person, this problem, that problem, that problem, you know. When we go to shopping, we have to read the orders, how do List. Less. What they put the food things in the all the things, you know. We have this choice, you know, we have a choice. The time now look at the choice may wait, can you know try to watch you know? but you know we are because we don't have contentment, therefore you know nothing you know is really satisfying to us. Do you guys have do you guys do you guys have maybe a single day, you say, okay now I have everything I have fun. <laughs> do you guys thought in the time? Yeah, we don't. Maybe first we say, example, we go to buy a car, the new car. We, before we wish to buy a new car, then we got a new car. <laughs> then you think, oh, no, I'm done. And then we say, oh, I want to keep really nice. I don't want to, you know, stretch anyone. I want to hit other one. They are really touch, you know. Then the big fucking come in. Then the choshe me wadi kajita mazo kadina. Oh, that. Uh, so if we don't have contentment, then we will you know, never be free from suffering. So again, also if you don't think about that and impermanence, then you will not have uh, contentment. So if we are uh, you know, <coughs> always in a, a craving for food, clothing, the reputation and so forth, and that is the sign that we don't think about death and incompetence. So of course we need those things, right? We need the food, clothing, shelter, and the reputation and so forth, but we, don't, we should not like, dedicate ourselves 100% for that. But usually we do 100% go there, right? I need to do this, I need that, I need that, I need that. You always me, 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 me. Therefore, the Buddha says this is not good. You have to check out, kick out. But I told you, you know, this is really our dear friend. We are very hard to suffer that. And then that young lady will tell you that you should go ahead. So if you don't really practice, then you should practice the data. If you are really practicing, then you should uh, practice uh, to think about or contemplate on death and impermanence. So what about ten? Can you then chill out of the corner and do this? You are going to be out. You so nobody, no, no, none of us know what will, what will happen to us after we die, right? Do you know? We don't know it. I don't know where I go. Maybe I don't know, maybe heaven. I don't think I have it. No, when we have one here, very long time, one Jewish, Jewish guy, you know, he will be joke. He said, no, he doesn't have like to have him, you know, he hit, he hit. He said, when you die, I grow. So, Jeff, you know, there's this guy called Jeff, and he always tells me that um, uh, that when I die, he will uh, uh, prepare a house for me in heaven. <laughs> if that's possible, then we will do that for everybody, right? It's not possible. So it's not, not possible for someone else you know, to prepare a house for you there or you know, down there or up there. You know. It all depends on your karma. 
if you have created good karma, positive actions, then uh, <coughs> you know, it's going to be in heaven. If you, know, if you have created uh, bad karma, uh, negative actions, then uh, it's going to be in the hell. And so if we don't know, then in order to you know, have that um, certainty, then we should practice Dharma well now. Because in some way, next year what happened, do you guys know? Anyone have any idea? No. no they said 2002 was the end of the world, they didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel that. But you don't know that next year what the kind of what happened. But we, but we prepare for that, right? For the next life, you know, so you know, yes. for the next year, yes. so yeah. that we can, uh, <clears throat> we will not have, you know, uh, so much difficulties. Also, we put the retirement, right? We, everybody, plan to become retirement, then do practice, then doing meditation, but we don't know, right? Is that, yeah, you know, how come, you know, we don't know it's going to be good, you know, but you know, hoping that it will be good, then you know, we try to prepare for that. Um, so, <coughs> since we don't know where we're going to be in the next life, and in order to have a good life in the future, then we should you know, prepare for right now. But we wish, you know, God, uh, or maybe any. 90 years we all last very successful, happy. What a tattery or tattery with the last one, what my husband can know you want to what they thought. I'm not sure much, and that's true. And so, um, so we'll go through that slowly, slowly, and on other sections, uh, the, the six uh, uh, sections here of not remembering death, right? So, the first one is if you don't remember death, you will not remember Dharma. Then, you guys, in invocation, okay, it's true or not. Buddha said, I show you that this path, you know, but you have to investigation, is it true or not? Don't blunt faith. He said, Oh, Buddha said that. Don't do that. You have to investigation, is it true or not? It's a contradiction of knowledge. No. So if it, if it contradicts with the logic, then you should, you should not risk it, or you should not uh, accept it. Sorry, Buddha, I don't accept that. <laughs> just say sorry, right? Then we can investigation, not just belong to that. Okay? Yes. Then maybe we check some questions. Today is Chichana, Rotsana, Yanjala, Manigu, Buju, Mahbure. So, yeah, after all, maybe then we can request Yanjala to recite for Mother Camille. She's very, very good singers. Yeah. <laughs> and any questions? Yes. Um, remember there's, there's a story with Trump Tampa who said uh, about uh, somebody, he, he says, you know, you're doing something that's nice, but it wouldn't be better if you practice Dharma. And the end result of what he says is if we practice Dharma is, you have, is to renounce this life. And so, for any Dharma, you have to be practicing not for this life. But then also today, he said, uh, there's a quote from Drum Tempo who says, and he says, um, if it counters the delusions, if it becomes an antidote to a delusion, then it's Dharma. Mm -hmm. But so that could be your, your purpose for having an antidote to the delusions might be for less suffering in this life, which is not quite really renouncing this life. So. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you could clarify a little. I know. Um, I know. Um, I know. 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 I that's 
well, what it means is that uh, it doesn't mean that you should not think about happiness or desire at all. Uh, it, well, it means like mostly you know, uh, giving up uh, the eight worldly concerns you know, for this life. And so, you know, so it, it's like the, uh, the eight worldly concerns, like it's mentioned here, you know, being happy if you're happy, and unhappy if you're not happy, being you know, happy if you're famous, you know, not happy if you're not famous, and so forth. Right? So, because you are doing for this life, you know, then it becomes, uh, you know, it kind of falls under the eight worldly concerns. So it doesn't really become antidote to the delusion. But also you can think and slowly, or we will come this in my own boss. So we will have further discussion on this, so you can still think about it also. Okay. Okay. Then. Okay. Then. So it's not for yourself, then it becomes dharma. And also, yeah, of course, if you are doing that for the purpose of practicing Dharma, like, you know, I don't want to be sick. If I'm sick, I will not be able to practice Dharma. Uh, if I'm unhappy, I'll not be able to practice Dharma, so I have to be happy, you know. And in order to practice Dharma, I have to be happy for that reason. And I'm going to do this practice, or I'm going to do this prayer, I'm going to do this puja, in order for me to be happy so I can practice Dharma for the benefit of others. If you have that thought, then that also becomes Dharma. Even though we eat, uh, and also that when you, you know, <coughs> um, and when you're eating, uh, if you think that, oh, I'm, if you think that I'm not eating just to be uh, happy for myself, you know, out of attachment to the food, just to be happy for myself or for myself to be healthy, and, you know, to have a, <coughs> a good body and so forth. Uh, but you know, for the benefit of others, in order to practice Dharma, I have to survive, I have to you know, live. In order to live, I'm going to eat. If you think like that, then eating can become also Dharma. Okay. If, if usually, if we know already in detail, know exactly then sleeping, eating, so all this can be transformed into Dharma. Even if you sleep time, you can say the Najat. So, so also at the time of you know, the sleep, you know, when you go to sleep, just before you go to sleep, if you sleep you know, with the positive part of the, the bodhicitta uh, and so forth, then you know, the whole sleep becomes dharma. Okay? Okay, then now we start. We start also, yeah. Thank you. 
please uh, turn to page 39 of the Curriculum Center Prayer Book, the Thanksgiving Model Offering. Saji Kuti Thank you. 